And like I said, don't hesitate to stop me if you have any questions whatsoever. So let's get started. All right. All righty. Okay. So I already started and what I did was I'm using two types of ribbon. I have some sheer ribbon and then I also have this, um, Oh gosh, what's it called? Wire ribbon, but it's like made with that, a different type of material, okay? And I'm not quite sure right now what that material is called, but we're, you can find it at Michael's. Um, and so what I did was I went ahead and I measured. So we're gonna hang this on the top of the door hanger and then this um, sheer ribbon is gonna be the backdrop for this ribbon. And I went ahead and already um, put a mark as to where I wanted my uh, first pumpkin to go. And so what I'm thinking, and um, you guys are gonna go ahead and craft along with me here. So um, this is really, we're just doing this. We're just really doing this. We're just really going, you know, for it. And I don't really know <laughs> if it is uh, what it's gonna be like. So this is behind the scenes crafting with me, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and I have my uh, glue gun all ready to go. So, this is kinda hard to do like on camera, but we are gonna make it work, aren't we friends? And I went ahead and this is just a piece of parchment paper because I didn't want it to stick to my counter. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Just hot glue it. And since this ribbon is sheer right here, it is gonna go through so you want to be careful when you tap on it because you don't want to burn yourself. Okay, fun times. And then that's pretty much what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and just keep going all the way down. Just keep until the end of where you want it. And good thing, look at that. I ran out of hot glue, but don't worry, friends. I got it right here, ready to go. All ready for you. I already made that mistake one time. I was doing a Periscope video and then I was like, ah! I forgot one of my supplies. So I made sure to be prepared for you. But you know what? Like my friend, Mr. Lucas Smiles, or Lucas Miles, he says, just get started. That's what he says. He says, just get started. It doesn't matter. You know, everybody needs to make mistakes and you learn from your mistakes, right? So we are getting started here, friends. All right. So I'm just hot gluing going down and like I said I just wanted the sheer ribbon to kind of be my backdrop and then this other kind of twinish ribbon thank you that is so nice of you oh yes you know it, it's better to have a positive attitude and um, then to worry and I have to tell you right now because I have learned so much from Heidi Swap because do you guys know Heidi Swap do you know her like not personally but I mean do you know who she is well, okay, so Heidi Swap is amazing, and she's an awesome crafter. You don't know her, Cora Bell? Okay, well, I highly recommend. She has, like, a lot of followers on Instagram, but um, she has her own product line, crafty product line. Like, isn't that super fun? Oh, you haven't heard of her, Anne? You would love her. Yeah, she's so fun. Anyway, so um, Heidi Swap taught this to me, and I have actually gone and seen her in person and um, gotten to take one of her classes, which was super fun. Um, but anyway, like I have a ton of her product um, in my like Etsy shop because I love her so much because she's so awesome. She has so many cool products, and mainly because then I can use her products if they're in my Etsy shop. Shh, don't tell my husband, okay? Shh. <laughs> Just kidding. He knows. Anyway, so um, all I was saying is that she taught me, um, does she sell at Hobby Lobby? Yes, she does, and Michael's and Joann's. She has some products that are exclusive um, to Michael's and some products that are exclusive to um, Hobby Lobby and exclusive to Joann's, but in general, yes, because she's so awesome, so they like have her do just exclusive things for her. 
But Anne, if you need something, you can get her. You can get it from me. We can talk. We can discuss later. <laughs> anyway, um, but what I was trying to say is that she taught me it doesn't have to be perfect, and that's the thing I think that is so important, and especially like with crafty stuff, is that like sometimes I would get so worried about stuff being perfect, you know, and it's like you know what? It doesn't have to be perfect. Like just do it and go for it, and then if you just make a mistake like who cares like okay well we can fix this you don't need to get all worried and freak out about it and get all nervous so Corbell, i appreciate you saying that because that really took me a long time in order to get that <laughs> and so like were you a little kid and you would this is like what i would do when i was a little kid it like it wouldn't turn out like the teachers you know and so then i would be like Oh, like I would always want the teacher to like help me because it wasn't turning out like hers and here's the point The point is that you want it to turn out like yours You don't want it to turn out like hers because you're not the teacher. You're you So you want it to be you and turn out like you and you know what it, that is really really important That's like one of the number one things. I think that is not just with crafting, but I think that is true with life anyway, so we're doing this guys and I'm gonna go ahead and get my pumpkin going on. All right, you ready for this? Word, <laughs> Anne's with me here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna do the, whoop, yep, I'm doing that method. <laughs> okay, and I am just gonna glue this down so that it's on top of here like that, okay? So I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna just do a little hot glue going down here. I'm gonna do it on the ribbon because knowing me, like I'll do it on here and then I'll put it down and it'll like all stick to the back. So I'm gonna try and just do it along the ribbon first. See how this goes. Do, 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 do. All right. Hey, and thanks for crafting with me on a Friday at 4.30. Well, maybe some of you are, it's not 4.30. What time is it there for everybody who's joining? Is Kazakhstan person still on? I know sometimes when you like do a periscope kind of for a while, people all of a sudden will be like, yeah, I've watched you for a while. Oh, it's 4.30 Michigan, right? Michigan, Corabelle. Yeah, so Michigan is fun. Where are you from in Michigan? So we're just doing this. We're just going by this. Michigan is fun. I love Michigan. Yes, Michigan. Pure Michigan. Yes, Michigan forever. Right? All right, here we go. Clinton Township, 20 minutes. Oh, so you're like, okay, so you're kind of like by Canada then? Like, my husband has relatives in Canada and we uh, visit them. Yeah, okay, cool. Perfect. Here we go. So we got the first pumpkin on. Oh, you're in Canada, Ontario. Thank you. So are you, okay, wait, now I'm gonna, so are you Linda Bell? What, is that how I say it? New Orleans? Hey, New Orleans, what's up? I've never been to New Orleans before. Do you love New Orleans? And see, this is why I love Periscope, because we have people from everywhere. Yes. Cool. All right. So here we go. I'm going to put this on here. Kind of go around because I felt like it was kind of hard the last time. So I'm just going to do a little bit here on the top. And then I am going to put it on the pumpkin and then I'm going to push it down. Oh man, guys. Let's see. Oh, almost ready for another glue stick. What kind of glue stick or uh, glue guns do you guys have? Do you have like mega ones? Like one time I was at this like crafty thing and someone came in with like a mega hot glue gun like I've never seen in my life before and I was like, where did you get that? <laughs> it was awesome. I just have these like little dinky ones that I always use. But I saw like a cordless one. Have you guys seen cordless hot glue guns? Like how amazing is that? All right, so are you guys with me right now? Look at this. And for those of you who are just joining, we are making this pumpkin hanger for my door. You guys ready? And so I also got these blue letters that I want to like stick on. See, there's the B-O and the O. Show your face. Well, Jamal official. 
I already did. You missed it. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So the, um, <laughs> you like that? So the O is uh, going to go here. The B obviously will go at the top. And so I'm kind of torn. What do you guys think? Because I want to like hang this on my door now. And I feel like if I put the B, the O, and the O on, that it's going to be like Halloween then, you know? And so I feel like maybe, and it kind of does look Halloween. What am I talking about right now? This is like black and white and orange. What are we doing? But anyway, if I just leave it, can I get away with it for fall? Do you guys think? Corval, Anne, who's with me? Who's out there? What do you think? Can I get away with it for fall if I hang this on my door hanger now and then put the B and the O and the O? Not too early for... Okay, so you think I could put the B, the O, and the O on? And just kind of be fun and just be ahead of the... head of the charge on the Halloween, for sure. Okay, all right. Oh, Anne's... Okay, so Corval and Anne, you guys both say for sure. All right, well... I'm down. Trendsetter. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. Okay, so here we go. And thank you guys for the behind the scenes. I um, save these and then I post them to my blog. And uh, like, I'll do a tutorial and I'll show people how to uh, do this within pictures and you know, kind of with words or whatever, and I'll have like all my pictures and everything hanging on my blog, but then I'll also show this video, so, um, just so people can kind of like, sometimes it's nice to just have like, if you have a question about something, to like see it in person, you know. So this is how it's going, guys, so we'll see. Hopefully it's supposed to work, because I was, uh, like I said, I was at Michael's, and they, they did a, um, what's it called? Uh, glow in the dark one, but I was like, I don't know if I want to do glow in the dark with all this, the spraying and all that, which I think it would be really cool. Actually, I probably should have done that, <laughs> but I was just kind of like feeling like this going, going with this right now. All right. So let's see. So we got these on, but anyway, what my point is, is that they hot glue theirs on. And so I was thinking, okay, well I'll try their method. Yes, see how that goes. And so what I'm going to do now, okay, so can you guys see this? So what I am going to do now, oh, it is staying. It's very nice. I want to be able to like show this to you guys on my door. But wait, let's do a ribbon first. Are you guys down with that? We're going to like do a big ribbon on the top. And I'm going to cut, wait, let me do that. It's hard because this is like ginormous and I only have so much camera space, you know. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, we're doing it, okay. So now let's go to the bottom. And I'm gonna do like a, um, I'm gonna cut it so that it like, has like a little pennant or whatever you call it at the bottom to finish it off, if you will. And I might just leave this flappy like that, I don't know. But I'm gonna do it like a little bit longer just for the mere fact, because what if I get it and hang it on my door and then I'm like, oh no, I made it too short, you know? So I'm just going to go ahead and like cut it a little bit farther and then I may end up, I probably will, end up making it shorter. All right, are you guys ready for this? Here we go. Just cutting it. This is like my, I love doing this with the ribbon at the end. I think it really finishes it. Do you guys like to do that at the end of your ribbon? How many people make hair bows? How many people have, make them or have made them? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Corbo. So nice to meet you guys. All right. 